Yes, I'm just going to reiterate a lot of information everyone already, already knows. Uh, my name is Ken Coleman and I'm from Charles Sturt University. And the reason I'm doing this talk is very simply, uh, each time I discovered these over the course of this X world, someone else in the room would overhear it and be amazed all of a sudden. And I found that very surprising as I'm mostly a Windows admin and had no idea about these commands already. So because we all like to get to the point, there they all are. <laughs> I'm not messing around, I have four slides as an intro and outro. So these are all the ones I found just over this X world, which I was very surprised by. And if nothing else, take a photo of that and send it to your tier one staff who are dealing with users every day. And if they need to change the home page in Safari, they can get the user to press command space, then command comma, and suddenly they're in the preferences and they can change that home page. I mean, most of us are doing it by other means, but there's just a lot of ways that you can get to things very quickly just by using these that I certainly didn't know. And if I teach anyone here any of these, then that saved you time for the rest of your Mac working life. So I figured that'd be very worthwhile. Um, and then there's some, I hope everyone's got those. Uh, and then there's some pointless things that I found in just searching around, such as, typing an Apple logo if you want to for some reason. Like, I don't think Windows has this feature. I don't, I don't think you can type a Windows logo into anything. Um, and control command space gives you emojis. So I don't know if that's a clue to whether we're moving towards iOS or not uh, and the merge, but uh, that's, that's helpful, I guess, for somebody. <laughs> um, and just wanted to say a quick thanks. And if you have anything like this, for someone such as myself, who is a mostly Windows admin, 5% of our fleet are Macs, so I spend 5% of my time on them, uh, shout them out. I, I would prefer this to be rather an informal session than me talk to people that know a lot more than me. So, yes. My favourite at the moment that I won't focus on is shift command dot will uh, hide or show uh, hidden files in any preference. Yes, we, f we found that yesterday. And thank you to Eric for... Uh, the option key. Option key and left click, such as on your wireless, it'll show you MAC addresses, well, pretty much everything about the connection, which I had no idea about before that. Um, and I believe Kane, who's just left, uh, also had one, which is, I want to be corrected if I'm wrong, but if you're in uh, the startup procedure of Mac, uh, if you click on the time, doesn't it show you a cycle of information? It does, it'll show you like its MAC address, whether it's got network connection, Duncan's agreeing, so that's a good source uh, of confirmation. Um, and that's about it, really. So, so um, yes? It's really useful if you're in the command line and you want to put a tab in a line command. So tab in a line command in yeah. the terminal, Control-V, press tab, and it'll it in, it embed it in there instead of filling out to whatever's going to be next, which typically, if it's blank, is the contents of your home directory. I knew Daniel would have some. He's up there. I knew Daniel would have some. If you're ever trying to edit a script or something and you're in the terminal thing and you don't want to cycle your arrows up constantly, uh, hold down the option key. You might see the cursor will change to be a nice little crosshair. You can then click in there, and that's where you move the cursor in a terminal window. And I thought it was going <laughs> to. I just wanted to see Marcus run. <laughs> uh, also in the terminal, I think it's command up arrow and command down arrow take you backwards in the command history up so you don't have to scroll to find previous commands and their output. Yep. Very useful. I've got one. Uh, at the setup assistant, command option control T. Um, was that in your, in your list already? I don't think so. No. Uh, brings up a terminal window. Yep. Um, and if you're at the language chooser, it uh, brings up a root shell, which is very useful. So, yes, I hope any of these are teaching people things. It'd be great. Anyone else to add anything? I guess not. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, 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 sorry. <laughs>
I, I really shouldn't have said that's it before I asked the question. Uh, did anyone here learn anything from that? Okay, good. Confirmation. <laughs>